Mr. Schopenhauer. And we start with the uh, Sefer Hofitz Chaim. We are on page 182 <coughs> of our book. So it says the rights, the rights of the victim. Okay, so let's see. We have seen in this uh, 63 to 66, and this is what? This is day 67, so not too long ago, that um, even when it is clear to someone that one person has wronged another financially, he may not attempt to affect justice outside of the confines uh, of halacha. So basically, even sometimes it, uh, it seems like how, how it's impossible to prove, does not make any difference. I mean, still we, we follow halacha. And we, we're going to be rewarded with for following halacha. This applies uh, not only to a witness, but also to the victim itself, himself. If one feels that he has fallen victim to another person's dishonesty, and after verifying the facts, concludes that he has valid claim against the person, he must not publicly speak against that person for the sake of uh, attracting, um, um, attaining uh, restitution. So basically, to, to do not create this public pressure. Rather, he should uh, should confront he should confront the individual privately, and if necessary, consult her. All right. All right. Hi, Rufat. How are you? Baruch Hashem. Nice to see you. So, um, so we we talking about um, <clears throat> we talk we talking about the case, right? When somebody was a fallen financial uh, victim to somebody, so it's the, it says that he cannot talk to other people and try to 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 put the pressure on, on that uh, on perpetrator, right? So he he still has to go to the court and don't uh, speak lashon hara. Rather, he should confront the individual privately, and if necessary, can consult Ara. If possible, the name of accused should not be mentioned. Um, yeah, go ahead. All right, let's say you don't go to the base then, right? And you force him to pay when he didn't want to pay, okay? Right? Does it count like uh, the same then as gambling? Like, does it count stealing like in gambling because he didn't really want to give the money? One second, let me admit this guy. Could you, uh, I, I, I didn't get, like, uh, they, okay, one, one, uh, one person took un, unlawfully from another, right? And right. this person, the victim, takes him to, to the basement. So how is it a uh, gamble? I didn't get uh, it. Uh, I said, instead of going to the basement, he forces him to pay. He says this and that. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, is it like gambling? That's the question. No, no, no. no. Okay, no, no. So he can. We, we said clear. You, the, this guy is supposed to go to 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 this guy uh, to 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 the perpetrator and ask him, "Why well, you you wronged me? I uh, I uh, like uh, you. I, I borrow money from you, but now you you change all the uh, like uh, condition stuff like that. So uh, the, the proper way to 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 fix it be between two of them." But if it's not possible, then you go to base them. Yeah, so it's, it's it's better to to keep the base them out of it, if it's possible. But it's not allowed for it, for the victim to to try to put the uh, social pressure and talk to uh, to L, tell everybody. And I saw it with my own eyes; did not work very well. Exactly. So I'm I'm saying, let's say you threaten him with social pl pr uh, pressure, meaning what? You say, I'll call this person and that person. Yes. Why? And now, because you know he's threatened him, uh, threatened him, he wants to pay you, right? So I'm asking if this maybe, maybe yes, yeah. maybe no, maybe you see, maybe maybe you get him so angry and so upset, so he said, now I'm not going to pay. It's it's better not not to threat people. I mean. You understand? understand. Not. Just uh, so as we know, Hashem said in Rosh Hashanah how much each person is going to to make, and that's it. So let let's Hashem. Look, he he promised you. So you 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 you, you think he he needs you little assistance to 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 give you money? He does not need your assistance. Yeah, and so whatever he promised you, he's going to pay you one way or another. That person is going to get punished. 
it's it's not easy. I mean, it's easier said than done for sure. I, I'm not arguing, but it it must be in our mind constantly. Hashem is running the world. If Hashem would not sign, the, this guy would not steal from me. You understand? He would steal from somebody else, not from me. If he stole from me, it's because of my sins. What do I, what do I do? It doesn't matter. I was destined to lose this money, and uh, Hashem is, 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 go, is going to see how, how I'm going to react. You understand? I, w- I was asked a question many, many times, like uh, this question uh, <laughs> uh, from many people. So let, let me tell the question. So in, uh, in order to, to prosecute a killer, right, somebody murderer, you need two witnesses. And these two witnesses have to give you like testimony and they have to comply with all, all the facts, all the details. They, uh, they, they were standing from the same angle and they saw all, all, all of the details. So the details means that uh, they, they would ask, so they, they, this person was standing under the fig tree. And I say, yeah, yeah, under the fig tree. So they would uh, ask the, each of uh, uh, the witnesses separately, how, how big were the leaves of the fig tree? You understand? So all of the details, and even the, if they would contradict, they say, okay, there, there, there are no witnesses. You understand? So all of the people say, okay, there were no such a witness. They, they stand close by, and that they had to uh, warn him, this guy, do not kill. And if you kill, the, in the verse in the verse in the verse in the uh, chapter 14, verse 30, says that uh, you're going to get penalty. Right? You understand? Unless they do, did all of this, so he's not going to get uh, like death penalty. So people say, how is it possible? How is it possible to ever prosecute somebody? Like, it's mission impossible, right? So, the, like, I heard it many times. So, uh, so the answer is, how would I say? So Hashem is running the world. Sometimes, many, many, many times we, we forget about it. You understand? So he's going to pay this, uh, his, uh, yeah, this, uh, this murderer one way or another. He's not going to let him uh, off the hook. You understand? So that's uh, that's very important uh, thing to, to remember. Okay. <clears throat> um, and and our and our okay. So and second second part of this answer. So our job is to follow halach. Is not our job to to uh, to, to to seek justice for the murder. You understand? If we we, we must seek justice according to the guidance of halach. That's it. Okay. The witness uh, may not uh, divulge to the victim the identity of the perpetrator. Right? If the victim could be expected to employ halachically unacceptable tactics to uh, retrieve the money. So you know that this guy is a uh, hothead. Right? He's going to take a baseball bat and he's going to do this based in with, uh, with a baseball hat. Yeah? You understand? So you're not allowed. If you're a witness, you're not allowed to tell me. Okay. So we stop here. Rabbi, are there yes. any situations where because we said you don't give muster, you don't do care to a person that doesn't listen, correct? If he doesn't listen, he makes this excuse and that excuse, so on and so forth. Are there any situations where you still would have to give him muster or would still have to correct him, or do you just not do anything? I mean, you can, uh, on, on, on one hand, if, if you feel that there is a t- tiniest chance that he's going to listen, so you give him Musa, not maybe not every time because you're going to annoy him more, but uh, like uh, from time to time, you give him Musa. Mm-hmm. Understood. But 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 if 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 you feel that you're going to hate him, and then you're not obligated. So th- this Musa, th- this rebuke must be done out of love because you care about somebody. Yeah. You understand when when the parents uh, re- rebuke their children and they are angry with them, frustrated. Let's say, right? Normal parents. It's not because they hate the, the child. They want only the only the father only, only wants the best. Sometimes he's slapping, but it's only for the best because this little one uh, trying to to stick I don't know the nail into into the outlet. You understand? So. What's it called? But just just to clarify you, let's say you're uh, uh, mad because he did that very. You're not allowed to give him muster. Uh, usually, okay, I, I, I don't want to go too, too, too much of the topic, but I tell you what, in this case, uh, it's bottom line, don't ask me a question, bottom line, not, not right away. Mm-hmm. 
Because when you're angry, don't give anybody Musa when you're angry. Understand. They're not going to listen to you. After, after, after the time, time passed, yeah, then, then they give them Musa.